Okay, problem three. We have the definite integral from 2 to 3 of 1 over x squared with respect to x. Now, I don't like dealing with this as 1 over x squared, and we know by our exponent properties that 1 over x squared is the same as x to the negative second, so I can rewrite this as the integral from 2 to 3 of x to the negative second with respect to x. And from here, I know that the integral of x to some power, I can add 1 to this power, negative 2 plus 1 is negative 1, and also divide off that power. I know that this rule right here, integral from of x to the n dx is going to be um, x to the n plus 1 divided by n plus 1, and I'll have an arbitrary constant here, but I'm not going to need that in this case since I have a definite integral. So I'll do that here. I add 1 to negative 2, and I get that this will equal x to the negative first, and I also divide off that negative 1, that 1 more than the negative 2, and I need to evaluate this as x goes from 2 to 3. So I can reduce this down a little bit. Um, x to the negative first divided by negative 1 will just be negative 1 over x as we go from 2 to 3. And I can evaluate this by plugging the 3, plugging the 2, and subtracting the two values. So this is actually equal to negative 1 third minus a negative one-half by putting in the three, putting the two, and then subtracting the two. Um, a negative one-third minus a negative, well, these two, a negative, negative is a positive, and I know that this is going to be one-sixth. If you don't see it, I get a common denominator, so I get negative two-sixths plus, and I multiply by three here, plus three-sixths is going to give me equals positive one-sixth. So my answer choice is B.